Not fluffy lamb chop. It's okay. You know you have to go back in your carry box. Passenger. I wish I'd get some metal cutlery in this plane. I'd soon get that Finnish monster in the box. That's not nice. You would not say things like that about fluffy lamb chop. He's very nervous at not being able to see the ground. We're all a bit nervous up here this high with the monster loose. Hurry up and get it back in the carry box. James tucks the fluffy lamb chop under Don Diffily over the carry box to sit on the seat. Seeing what is about to happen, the gat gat goes ballistic, digs the claws into the top, the top of the seat in front, catching the lady's long hair. The lady is now screaming loudly in pain, and the people are starting to panic. The warden in the mid thirties with long blonde hair, agitated personality, and very loud voice. Ah! Oh God! Oh God! Please go! Ah! Oh murder! Please murder! Now what is going on? Make that animal let go of the lady. I'm trying to get her in the box. But she's very nervous. Tell that woman to stop screaming. It's making Fluffy Sam Chop very nervous. <clears throat> that monster, I'll put it in a box permanently if it doesn't let go. The infernal racket doesn't stop. It's making everybody nervous. I will help you put her in the box. I'll hold her while you get her claws out of the lady's hair. Help! Help! Please! Help! Ah! He's murdering me! Ma'am, please shut up. You're not going to be murdered. Yeah. You're making the other passengers panic, so stop and please try to be patient and contain yourself or gently freeze those claws out of your hair. The woman, murder, murder, help, please, please, somebody help me. Ah! This woman is screaming more in, in panic and the pain of believing she's getting murdered by the cat. James tried to get the claws out of the front of the feet and the woman there, while the air hostess tried her best to hang on to her. A long struggle takes place while the other passengers. Watch with a mixture of revulsion and sheer panic. Several passengers come to the assistance of the woman, try to calm her. When the worst thing possible happens, there's rough turbulence. They lose a grip on the cat. The cat is now sensing freedom and leaps forward, clawing the woman as well as the face and the other passengers assisting her as well, biting them in a rage. Oh, oh God, oh God, wait! Bloody hell, I don't want to die! The passenger, hey, Patty, Jesus Christ, and Barton bit me too! Ah, it's just called me too. A cat curled on its rampage in its desperate attempt to get free. People are erupting out of their seats and shouting, running around every direction like a wave. They surge back and forth across the plane. James is trying to find Fluffy Lancaster and calm everybody down. The cabin crew is trying to get the situation under control. Air hostess, try and walk down the, trying to walk down the aisle and calm the people down. Please, will you go back down to your seat? Well, he fixed this little problem. He's on the intercom to the pilot who's already having problems with his own as he struggles to control the plane. And there's now sea storms through the air. The passengers complete riot, each trying to find somewhere safe from the monster, whatever it is and wherever it is. And kill us all! No, no, not my baby! Save my baby! Our Father, we died in heaven. Does the Lord, why does the Lord not save us? Huge rats on the plane, playing with them. No, no, it's a white demonic monster with red eyes. We're all going to die. Ha! Ah! Will you sh just stop shouting? Shut up, you're making it worse. You're frightening poor lovely James up even more. There are monsters on the plane. No, no, it's monsters. They said to them demons, they all said to kill us all. Save yourself. Every man for himself. I'll give you every one of you. Every man for himself. Oh, look, you gone stark raving man. It's only one poor little frightened pussy. Sit down and shut up. Fluffy lame job. Fluffy lame job. Come to daddy. There you are. Do not be frightened by these silly people. Come on, for God's sake. In the uh, pilot. Pilot's deliver. In the cabin, the pilot is now. He's an Asian gentleman, mid 50s. Very experienced pilot. And he's co pilot, mid 20s. Only what has happened on the plane. There's a horrendous yell of scream coming from there. The captain is in full occupation keeping the plane in the air and is seesawing through the air. He is now in a massive battle. The captain find, says, Find out what's going on out there, will you? I want to know what we're dealing with. Sir, you want me to go out there? I don't like that idea. No, no. No, that's not a good idea. Let's call up the cabin crew. The co pilot calls the cabin crew and hearing the blood curling scream breaks out in a sweat and then goes part of the park now. Oh, hell, he's passed out. I have to do everything myself. 
The captain turned on the remote communication talking to the phone crew. What happened? What is it? A terrorist attack, Isaac? Like no, I can't hear you. It's so much noise. Yes, yes. You know, it's a riot. I can hear it and feel it. What's causing it? What did you say? I can't hear. Did you say cat? What cat? How can a cat cause that? What what kind of cat cause that? Is it a tiger, a leopard, something else? What do you mean? It's a fact it's got it's got the fact it's a terrifying. Where's his odor? How can an ordinary domestic cat cause that? What? Are you talking about his cat? What? Can't catch it because of the writing. Right, I'll fix that. The captain turns on the internet system and turns it up to a screaming 125 decibels and they've heard about the screaming riot. Screaming and rioting. The captain shouts into the microphone, This behavior has to stop immediately. If it does not, we'll not be able to land. I will not tolerate this behavior. I'm coming out there in less than 10 minutes and anyone on the seat will be handcuffed to the seat, any seat, for the rest of the flight. So sit down, any seat, and be quiet now.